please say hello to Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. <laughs> You're supposed to leave that out there. You're not supposed to take it home. <laughs> I know, I know. I just wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to see it. It's nice. What will, you, what will you do with that? Will you hang that in your home? Yeah, yeah. This is like one of my, my lawyers actually had the guy who actually did the art. Had him puts do it, it in the ground, do that for him. I see you got Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, the whole name written on okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Because when I'm doing the acting projects, I put the Curtis right, yeah. Jackson in Acting, there. you got Curtis, and then... Is Which it, really is, like, it makes no sense at all, right? But you, you want your name on there. Yeah, you do, because I don't want them to come wanting to see 50 Cent and then see me playing a character. You gave me the lines to say what I got. Exactly. Now, you were on our show, our second ever show. Yep. It was 17 years ago this week. Now you have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. How much credit should go to me for this? <laughs> Any? Like, on a scale of... I just noticed for the first time, I just noticed that you keep, <laughs> that you have stars, like, right there on the floor. That's right. That's how I, how I know where to stand. Yeah. <laughs> Why you can't just, like, put my name in that? <laughs> I, just... I will 100% get a Sharpie and write your name on that. And every night, I'll look down and I'll think of you just as I begin to speak. There it is. It's blank now, but it won't be blank for long. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put your name on every star in the area. <laughs> <laughs> your star is what, down the block? Yeah, yeah, I wanted mine next to Trump's because this gets vandalized a lot. Yeah. So I just wanted to be, like, in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> you figure you get more news coverage yeah, that way? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be next to us. <laughs> Haven't you been in enough shots? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He you knows see that, it you see how, you see how <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> That's why we can speak like this together. Speaking of friends, two of your good friends, Dr. Dre was there today. Right. Eminem was there today. You get to pick two people <laughs> to speak at your 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 thing. Did you right. call them and ask them to come? Well, M, yeah. I, yeah. I called him first, asked him to come, and then Dre found out that M was gonna come and it was like, well, why didn't he ask me to come? And I was like, <laughs> I was going to call you. Like, I was calling you now. I was, I'm hoping he's available so we can get Dre to come and then that everybody just, you know, clear their schedules. I have a photograph of the, you guys uh, <laughs> together, and uh, there it is. That's, that's an imposing <laughs> Mount Rushmore of hip-hop right there. And you, and you guys coordinated the sneakers, too, which is nice. Was yeah, that coincidence, or was there a call about that? No, uh, that, was, that was coincidence. Do you ever wear dirty sneakers? Never. Never. Even if they come like that, like the designers try to yeah. be like cool you, hip, like yeah. and make the shoe look like it's dirty already, I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem spoke, as I mentioned, and uh, hey, well, we have a clip, uh, Eminem's speech about 50 today. I just want to say, man, I'm, I'm here today because this is not only like a business partner to me, it, it, it's one of the best friends I've ever known in the world. And I would say that it's much more fun to be his friend than it is to be his enemy. Because this guy is relentless. <laughs> I'm going to guess that that has not been said before. <laughs> is that true? Is that you? Have you ever had any kind of an issue with Eminem? No, never with him. Never, never with him, yeah. Because he's done everything for me. Yeah, right. You know, he provided my opportunity. From there, Dre is like to him what he is to That's me. right, yeah, right, yeah. You know, so the, having us together is it's the coolest thing, man. It is cool. He came well, in... beef, like you. Yeah. Your, your beef, like, for the number one spot. Like, the show being the number one spot. Right. Like with Steve That's not really there. a beef, though. It's a competition that I consistently lose. <laughs> Now, I, I believed you, like, the first time you told me that. Yeah. I don't believe you no more. Oh, did you bring that up last time? No, because now I done figured out y'all got the same agent. <laughs> oh. Right, yeah, yeah, right. For, like, 20 years. Yes. Now you didn't tell me this, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'll fill you in on a lot of stuff about me, if you like. 
<laughs> I'm just not, I'm just not understanding because I'm behind the scenes. I'm watching. I meet these people. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. And it's like, you, Stephen. I like that you've been doing some research on my up. relationship with Stephen Colbert. And yeah, we do have the same agent. That's true. So how does that work? <laughs> for 20 years, like for 20 years, it's yes. Yeah. yeah. Who is this guy? I need to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make You're not going to kill him, are you? No, no. no. Okay. We got two, we got the two hottest people at late night, and you want to be in the middle of that? <laughs> and just, and just, so he's probably trying to. He just wants commissions. That's all he's interested in. Oh, that's how. It works. Yeah, I'll introduce you to him. His name's Baby Doll. You'll like him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's gonna wake up out of his body. Well, he's probably watching Colbert, but um, <laughs> tomorrow when somebody tells him we mentioned him, he will wake up and he'll go, oh, baby, I saw you on TV today. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Let's focus. I have very little time with you, and I want to ask you a couple of questions. Will you go to the Super Bowl, first of all? Yeah, yeah, I'll go out there. Do you have a favorite team of these two? No. You do uh, not? I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to go with... Uh... I don't even know which way I would go. If I, if I was betting... Yeah, are you going to bet? No, I would no. only bet friends. You would only bet friends? I'm not bought in the sports book, because they'll, like, make it close, and it's not even that close. I see. Because What's the, the most out? amount of money you have ever lost at a sports book? About $80,000. $80,000. <laughs> what, what was that bet? It was the Manny Pacquiao-Bradley uh, fight. Oh, Bradley. And, and Manny Pacquiao won that fight. And he, day. yeah, he, but he, it was a was yeah, split decision or something, right? Yeah. 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 And they you could, lost. Yeah, they said Bradley won the fight. They just, I forgot, like, Bradley was with Bob Barrow. You, oh, and I see. Yeah, boxing is always a little... Uh... It's a criminal enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> took, my, took my money. For... <laughs> I want to mention a couple things. This is a season finale, a power. I remember you came here the, when it first started, yeah, yeah. and you were doing the show, and, and now it's become this, like, big culture. I'm surprised you're ending the show. Well, it's only ending to start again. I see. You know, because... Power Book 2, the second book starts 48 hours after the finale. Power Book... Did you have to call the people at Apple and say, we have a show called Power Book 2? Uh, are we allowed to call it that? <laughs> because most of the stories on television are made from books. Uh-huh. Just yes, calling okay. it Book 2, Book 3. I got you. It makes sense, yeah. yeah. And this other show that is going to be on ABC... Right, for Life. For Life. This yeah. is a very interesting story. Yeah. How did you get involved with this? I, um... Actually, it connects to my relationship with Floyd. Oh. Because I was a licensed promoter in the state of Nevada. Okay. At the time, a friend of mine's, they wanted me to come to, like, a fight club. And it was like, it wasn't legal. Like, the fight club wasn't legal, so... So there was a real fight club? Yeah, like, this they would guy's just go to the park, put the gloves on and fight. Like, like it, oh. it's just, it turned into about 300 people hanging out, like, go, coming to see it. So they wanted me to come, and I was like... I'm not going because it's, it's still illegal. I still got my license. I don't want to... Right, you don't want to mess up. with that, yeah. And then um, they had to hire an attorney to help legitimize the actual show that was going on there. And the attorney that they hired was Isaac Wright Jr., who the story is loosely based on, on ABC. He, he was, became... He studied to become an attorney while he was incarcerated. Yep, he was sentenced to 70 years plus life, the first person convicted under the Kingpin statute in New Jersey. And... Uh, he worked himself out of the penitentiary. Like, he, he lawyered himself out of prison. And then some other uh, inmates as well, yeah, right? He created case law through other inmates' cases that helped him get his case back in the court and got himself out. That's very interesting. So you were so taken by this, you said, I want to make yeah, this it was, into It's a not series. like one in a million, it's like only one. <laughs> like, case? Like, I was like, what, are you serious? While he was explaining the story to me, I was like, I was looking, I got my phone, I'm like Googling it. To make sure he was not... Yeah, yeah make sure this is true, because yeah. he's telling me some crazy right. Right. And then, then when, it found, when it turned out to be true, I was like, yo, this is good. I started paying people right away. This is my show. I'm putting this on TV. What do you mean? You, you actually made the transaction in person? Yeah. <laughs> you know, How much money do you have on you right now? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't bring money with me. Oh, you don't have any money? Is it no. in the dressing room? It, it, Guillermo, it, go root it, around it. before he gets... I go, I'm yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that guy... You, yeah, you, you really will have no money. You're drunk on the show. <laughs> 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 yep, drunk security. Yeah, the guy, because he goes in, he has an apple martini in the middle of everything. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. Congratulations on... That's a big deal. Thanks, uh, cool. Congratulations. Power... The series finale is February 9th on Stars, and the new show for life Tuesday, February 11th here on ABC.
Curtis, 50 Cent Jackson. We'll be right back with Caroline Polachek. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.